Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at Thunder Road, the Hot Wheels version. So it's a remake of the old Thunder Road. Uh, it looks like it's missing a couple things from what I understand or what I've read. Like I don't think it's the helicopter and some other stuff. So the review I saw was kind of bad, but I did want to pick it up because I don't know how long it's going to be in production. It still is Thunder Road. Uh, I think it was like 19 bucks, maybe a little, maybe a little too much. Don't come with some Hot Wheels, but that would only be like one, two, three, what, four. So yeah, that'd be like four bucks right there. So with a board game, I don't know, 20 bucks isn't, I guess, the worst. But we're gonna open it up, see how it looks, check it out. All right, Hot Wheels on the road. I like the art; it's pretty cool. Uh, classic uh, orange track back there. Your old uh, skull car right back here. A couple muscle cars pretty cool so that says Hot Wheels Thunder Road the ultimate racing challenge game two to four players and let's open it up here and use your epic driving skills to race along the abandoned desert road on Route 66 Finding sandstorms, so on and so on. All right, let's open it up. So those the cars. I'll leave them in the box for now. Probably open them up at the end of the video. Just want to check out the components here. Here's your board, which I don't have loops, I believe, in this game. Let's see how many we have in total. So we have one, two, three. The instructions, not very long here. Actually, it's one page. Uh, this is another language. There's the English rules here. So it's going to come with three interchangeable game boards, uh, lead board, middle board, and restart board. So eight sandstorms, two for each color of team, two movement die, road bonus die, sandstorm die, cars for Hot Wheels, and also paper pawns. So it says feel free to substitute your own Hot Wheel cars. Set up, place the three game boards end to end on the floor pointing in the same direction from left to right. Now, I don't have the real estate to do that on this table, um, but they would connect. So, I don't know what the board is which. They would intersect like that, looks like. Now you know what? It has a blue half circle, so I'm sure that's how they intersect. so on and then you have your third board down here so that's some numbers here so probably starting so obviously the game on the race by having the last vehicle on the board so it's an elimination game so let's open these other components here see what we got With all your components. It's a very odd box here that I just ripped. Okay, there's your paper cards, your dice. And okay, that's it. Changeable game boards. Uh, I don't know if he's, if he's back in front. I think so. Nope, just just front. So 
Try and play skateboards in the end, like shown earlier. So that here for now. That one's pseudo <laughs> on there. I got some of these components here. So you can use these standees. So far it's pretty good. Got a little more light. Well, those are actual Hot Wheel cars. Um, I don't know if they match. Let's see if they match what they give you. Uh, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> So you have uh, a different art style, different cars. Which I'm, I'm kind of okay with, because that gives you a little bit of variety, I guess. And uh, you can just, I guess, hunt these cars down if you really wanted to have them. So then we have... Eight sandstorms, two for each color. So uh, these are the sandstorms. And you have your dice. So you have two movement dice, by the numbers here. Road bonus dice, one to eight. So you have eight sided. And one sandstorm dice, which is this, uh, special dice with the green and red on it. And your stands for these. This is a, probably a, a better way to play the game because I, I did read, you know, this is a slick board. There's something to hold um, the cars in place. So they're just going to roll. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and look at some of the cars. I know that's the end of the video, but let's go ahead and look at them. Yeah, taped in pretty good. That I don't like. So, I don't like to leave a hole right here. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. A nice classic blue color Hot Wheel. Number three. Make sure these don't match. Not a bad looking car. We have a, like a dragster here. Got a nice mean look to it. More like a Trackmaster series car. These are a lower and kind of seem wider. Not a bad looking car. More of a classic. I guess it's like a, maybe a Rally Baja kind of thing. I didn't really realize that there's like these are motorcycles back here. It's kind of odd. So well, there are the cars, like I said, if you put them on the board though, they just got to roll. I mean, they're actually a little too big for the space as well. So yeah, if you go, uh, like the space is about there, it's going to overhang, and it's going to slide. So maybe what they could have done is, is have like a, a bottom stand maybe two stoppers so you could actually like set the cars on here and you would think just to make the squares as big as cars that's very bad game design i mean that's very simple to do even 
Come to think of it, let's see. So it'll be on a stand and it'll also overlap the, uh, I assume, is the, uh, the movement grid. Anyway, the cars are pretty cool. Well, I think maybe like this one the best. Kind of like a Lotus looking thing, at least. Right. Let's go ahead and go over the uh, gameplay. So here's a bunch of components, all messy looking. Uh, okay, gameplay, game boards. The game boards are placed end to end. Vehicles travel in one direction. Players take turns rolling two six-sided movement dice. When one, when one vehicle reaches the end of the lead board and rolls high enough, <coughs> number to exit the board, the rear board is dumped and placed in front of the leaderboard. So it just <coughs> keeps cycling, becoming the new leaderboard, okay? The movement on each player's turn, the two six-sided dice, mo the two six-sided movement dice are rolled in each player's vehicle may use one of the die to move. Okay, each vehicle in order be desired. But, okay, so in your turn, two six-sided move dice are rolled and each of the player's vehicles, okay, so you can have more than one vehicle, may use one of the die to move each of his vehicles in the order they desire. One vehicle moves first then the other vehicles move. Vehicles cannot go backwards, only straight ahead, straight to the left and straight to the right. A vehicle may not land on or travel through another vehicle. No more than one vehicle is out of one space. If your vehicle cannot move because it's blocked by other vehicles, then its movement is forfeited that turn. In order to use a die, you must use the entire number rolled. Okay, so if you roll a six, you have to go six. Something's in your way, then you just forfeit your turn, I guess, entirely, and then go anywhere. This is kind of, I guess, that's how the game works. Road bonus. Each road, each board has a road Hot wheel track running down it. Okay, so that's the hot wheel track from the orange. The three center rows. If a vehicle begins its turn on the road and never leaves the road during its movement, the road bonus die may be added to its movement. Both of a player's vehicles may use the road bonus in the same turn. Roll the road bonus die along with two movement dice every turn that you're on the, the orange. Remember, when using the road bonus, your car cannot move off the road at any time during that turn. All right, sandstorm. So, sandstorms. Sandstorms block vehicles from traveling through spaces. At the end of each player's at the end of each player's turn, that player may place one or both of their sandstorms on empty spaces. A sandstorm takes up to three spaces on any board. Sandstorms must cover three spaces and cannot straddle between two boards, so they can't. Be like here, so you gotta be on one board. Sandstorms may not be played on any player's first turn. At any time, one play on a player's turn, that player may identify a sandstorm on the board and try to remove it. To remove a sandstorm, roll a sandstorm die. If a green is rolled, a sandstorm is removed. If a red is rolled, the sandstorm stays. Which is that dice here. and cars cannot pass through the sandstorms. If you remove a sandstorm, you may immediately choose another sandstorm and remove it also. Huh. As long as you rolled green, you can remove a sandstorm. When red is rolled, no more attempts to remove sandstorms can, are allowed. Okay, so if you roll green, you can remove, roll again, I guess. You get a green, you can remove. Dumping the rear board. When a vehicle exits the lead board, the rear board is dumped. Any vehicle on the rear board is immediately removed from the game. So if you're back here and this board is dumped, then you're gone. Dumped off obstacles are returned to their owner for future placement. Okay, so they're not gone. <laughs> for future placement. And then you have strategy hints here. Place storm so it blocks opponents. Hint two. Try to get your car off the rear board as fast as possible because it will be dumped when the car leaves the board. Okay, the winner. The player with the last vehicle on the board is the winner. So I don't know how you would replace, it says for future placement, which doesn't really make any sense. 
So it seems like try to get off the rear board as fast as possible, avoid sandstorms, and try to dump the opponent's um, cars. So on your turn, you'll be like, oh yeah, it's here. I'll place a sandstorm here so you can't get through. You have to waste movement going this way. And okay, and that that is really it. I know it's kind of a quick quick read, but it's one page. It's very it's pretty simple. I think once you play, you know how to play for for good. I think one one game will set you just fine. Uh, I believe the original Thunder Road had like helicopters and um, destructible vehicles. I think. So I can understand why people didn't care for this one as much. Uh, I grabbed it because it's Hot Wheels. It's still playable, I guess. I think uh, there's a game called Screaming Eagles, and the Mission Command has one that's just like where the movement. You just need one board, just a bigger board, and then you just cycle through. But I guess you need the dump mechanic in this, so you need to dump this board, I guess. Which I guess might provide some entertainment maybe uh, this thing takes up a lot of space so these two these two boards right here it's, uh, he's going to use three and they don't fit on a pretty long table that's I don't know maybe three and a half feet wide so you'd have to use you know use a whole kitchen table on the floor maybe uh, the colors look good though I'll give it that they pop pretty good. So you have the orange track to you know make it Hot Wheels. You give me some Hot Wheels cars. Um, the dice seem okay. I'm sure you would definitely probably play with the uh, cardboard cutouts instead. But you really could have done some more with these hazards, I think, than just sandstorms. It's kind of it's kind of boring. I mean, like okay, I'll put that there, and then I guess I'll just move around it and keep going. I guess the other one, I said, I know, I saw like a helicopter in the other one. I think you can like shoot stuff. But this is what it is. Hot Wheels Thunder Road. Uh, if you're a fan of Hot Wheels, then maybe you can get it. I wouldn't, I don't, I don't think I could recommend this. Um, it'll look good. It would have looked good on the show, except for this window here. I mean, I like the art. But not a good reason to grab it because actually there's better box of hot wheel stuff so that have better art and i'm gonna deal with this for 20 bucks i say it's way too much this should be like a five and below kind of pickup i think so i would definitely save your money and pick it up when it's really cheap i guess if you're a fan i'd say ten dollars uh casual person just wants to pick up a board game even an easy board game to teach that's yeah, probably not five bucks because you get four cars usually a dollar a piece so you'll get that anyway that is thunder road hot wheels version thanks for watching triple r have a good day or night wherever you are